Hey class, good evening everyone. How are you all doing today? I hope all of you are doing awesome. And this is Gopal Paliwal. Welcome you all again to the another session of this Umang series for your grade 9. And as you know, we have already finished the topic quadrilateral and today we'll be starting with areas of parallelogram and triangles. Okay, and mostly in this chapter, they are asking you the part about where the areas of the parallelogram and triangles which are between the same parallel lines and they are having the same base. So there are, it's a very easy topic, only one simple thing you have to remember. Okay, so we'll be starting with that part also. Before that, those of you who are here for the first time, do like, share and subscribe to this channel. Okay, subscribe to this channel so that you can get to know the information about the upcoming videos. And you'll love this platform because this is the only channel exclusively working towards grade 9th and 10th. Okay, chalo. So let's move ahead now. So this was the homework question which I have given you earlier. So in one of my videos, I have already taught you about cyclic quadrilateral. That cyclic quadrilateral has one very important property. The important property of a cyclic quadrilateral is the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. Opposite angles are supplementary. So angle BAD, this angle they have given as 75 degree and angle ADC is given as 100 degree. So you know since this angle, uh, this ABCD, is a cyclic quadrilateral so if it is 100 the opposite angle has to be supplementary so 180 minus 100 which should be 80 degrees right now you know this is 75 this is 80 so total sum of these two angle is 155 so this angle will be 180 minus 155 which is 25 degrees as simple as that okay so i have told you that this property is very important for cyclic quadrilateral that in a cyclic quadrilateral opposite angles are supplementary right so the correct answer for this question is 25 degree and I have got the correct answer from uh, Esther Joshua, Hari Joshua, Shivain, Pinking, uh, Shabiba, Latif, Srinivas Joshi, Ashutosh, Heram Damle and Srinivas Joshi. Okay, two times I have got the answer from him. Okay, Bajo. so these are all the star students for this class and let's move ahead with today's class. So before moving ahead. Let me just introduce you to the topic, what, what this topic is all about. Very basic theorem, I would be, I'm more interested into the solving part. What they are saying that suppose if you have two parallel lines, if you have two parallel lines and let us say you choose a base, let us say I have chosen that AB is my base. Now keeping this AB as your base, if you draw no matter how many parallelograms if you are drawing, you are drawing parallelogram this way, you are drawing parallelogram this way, you can draw a parallelogram this way, okay? So, let us say this is one parallelogram you are drawing. Then, let's say this is your another parallelogram you have drawn. And let's say this is your another parallelogram you have drawn. So between these three parallel lines, between these, oh, sorry, these two parallel lines, if you keep the base same, no matter how many parallelograms you will be drawing, no matter how many parallelograms you draw, keeping the base same and between these two parallel lines only, the area of all those parallelograms will be same. Area of all those parallelograms will be same because area of a parallelogram is nothing but base into height. So as you know, you have already fixed the base. Now the only thing that is worrying to you is that height, now the height is what perpendicular to base. So now perpendicular you know the distance between two parallel lines is constant everywhere and that will be the perpendicular distance right. So you can see height is common for all the parallelograms, height is common for all the parallelograms. So area of all the parallelograms having same base and between the same parallels are equal. Similarly, area of all the triangles between same parallel lines and same base will also be equal. Again, same logic, half into base into height. So base is fixed and height is fixed because height is the distance between the parallel lines. Similarly, one more third relation we are getting that between two, between us, if between two parallel lines and the same base, between two parallel lines and a same base, area of parallelogram is equal to half, sorry, area of parallelogram is double of area of triangle. That means, suppose if you have a two parallel lines 
and keeping this AB as your base, if you draw a parallelogram, let us say, like this, you have drawn a parallelogram ABCD, and keeping this AB as base, you have drawn a triangle, let us say ABE. So you can say area of ABCD will be equal to two times of area of AB, whatever is the area of AB. So if I say, let us say I have told you that area of AB is 10 square units. So area of ABCD will be 2 into 10, which is 20 square units, as simple as that. So this is the main theory about everything it, okay? Now, <coughs> how to solve the questions? Questions are more most important part. Chalo. So let's move ahead. So the next part is this part. So in figure D and E, in this figure D and E are two points on BC such that BD is equal to DE is equal to EC. Show that area of triangle ABD is equal to area of triangle ADE is equal to area of triangle AEC. Now, suppose bacho, first thing, they have given ki this BD is equal to BD is equal to DE is equal to EC. Right, this part is given. Okay, so if this part is given, if this part is given, I can say one thing. These three bases are equal. Let's say all are equal to x. And if I draw a line here from A, let's say which is parallel to this line is parallel to BC. So all the three triangles which we have to prove area of triangle ABD. So all the three triangles are between two parallel lines. Okay, all the three triangles are between. Let's say this is line L. M between LM parallel to BC. All the three triangles are situated between these two parallel lines. Right? Also, even though the base is not same, for this base is BD, for this base is D, for this base is EC, but the length of base is same. So ultimately the formula is half into base into height. So you know for this half into BD into height, which is the distance between two parallel lines, which is common. Similarly is equal to half and for this we are getting half into DE into H and half into EC into H. So you can see all are equal. This part is given equal, half is also equal and H is also equal. Okay. So this is how we can say that this area formed will be equal. Let's move to the next question. The area of triangle ABC is 32 centimeters square. AD is a median and E is a midpoint of AD. Okay, find the area of triangle BD. I have always told you draw the diagram. Drawing a diagram helps you a lot. So we have an area, a triangle. Let us say a triangle we have which is ABC. Okay, sir. A, B, C. Nice. AD is a median. Okay. AD is a median. Chalo, let's say AD is a median. If it is a median, BD and DC are equal, right? I have told you whatever information you are getting, keep writing that part. Now. E is the midpoint of AD. E, this E is a midpoint of AD. So there is one more thing we have here. E, which is midpoint of AD as well. Okay, very good. No problem. Now, find the area of triangle BED. Area of triangle BED. This area you need to find out. What is this area? One more important theorem, but you should remember that median of a triangle median of a triangle divides it into two equal parts. Remember I'm saying equal parts, not congruent parts. Very important. Many of the students get confused here. A median divides a triangle into two equal parts. Equal in which way? Area wise they are equal. Okay. They are not congruent. Shape will be different, but their area will be same. Why it will happen? Because see, bachon, if I have a median, suppose if I draw a median here, Okay, let's say if I draw a median here. Now, the area, let's say height will be same for both the triangle. This will be height. By height to perpendicular. Height, this is your height. And base, it is x and it is x. So earlier, the whole area of the triangle was half into 2x into h, which is xh. And now area of this triangle one will be half half into base is now x, height is h. So it is xh by 2 
and here also this triangle for also it will be x h by 2 that means a median divides a triangle into two equal parts area wise and area of each triangle are formed will be half of the original triangle correct so using this theorem if i use this theorem i can say that sir it means area of triangle abd area of triangle abd will be half of area of triangle abc so which is half of area of triangle abc is given as 32 which is 16 cm square what is the reason here because ad is median similarly bachcho in triangle abd you know e is the midpoint so b is also median right so i can say sir area of triangle bed will be equal to half of area of triangle abd the reason is be is median so here you will be getting half into 16 which is equal to 8 cm square understood so this is how you have to move ahead okay chalo let's move to the next question the next question we have is this d is a point on side ab of a triangle abc and p and q are two points lying respectively on the sides bc and ab such that dp is parallel to qc prove that area of triangle bqp is equal to area of triangle abc so let us draw the diagram so we have a triangle abc okay chalo let's say we have a triangle abc like this way a b c d is a point on side ab of a triangle okay d is a point somewhere on ab p and q are two points lying respectively on bc and ab so p is lying on bc and ab q is lying on ab such that dp is parallel to qc okay so let's say q is here and p is on ab as well right p is on p is on bc okay p is on bc and d is somewhere here okay chalo so d is on ab <coughs> <coughs> so these two lines are bachcho what parallel okay okay this is what the diagram is for saying then prove that area of triangle b q p so you want to prove that area of triangle bqp bqp so let us join it bqp is half of area of triangle abc this area is half of the whole area of the triangle abc how do you do it okay so first thing bachcho let's do one thing let's do one thing construction what i'll do by first i will join q to p okay and i know since these are two parallel lines so let us join the c with d as well let us join the c with d as well okay and d is the midpoint remember this thing also d is the midpoint bachcho d is the midpoint so if i join c to d i can say cd is median because d is midpoint so if cd is median bachcho if cd is median i can say sir area of triangle bdc area of triangle bdc will be half of area of triangle abc but in place of bdc bdc what do you want you want bqp bqp now look one thing bachcho this pd is parallel to qc okay so between these two parallel lines if you will focus only on these two parallel lines okay focus only on these two parallel lines you will see in this parallel line there are two triangles if you keep dp as your base this is your first triangle and this is your second triangle these two triangles are having same base which is dp and they are between the same parallel lines so i know that area of triangle dpq dpq will be equal to area of triangle dpq will be equal to area of triangle dpc right why i can say that because they are on the same base and between two same parallel sides dp is parallel to qc 
Now this relation why it will be used? See why it will be used? Because I got to know when I got BDC. What is BDC? But so if you look carefully, BDC is this part. BDC is this part. That means angle BDP plus angle DPC. And what do you want to prove? You want to prove BQP. BQP is where? BQP is here. BQP is BDP plus DQP. So I got to know ki from here to here if I have to move, okay, from BDC, from BDC to if I have to move BQP, I know that this DPC has to be shifted with DQC. And that area I have what already got that DPC is equal to DQP. Now what I will say, sir, area of triangle, sir, area of triangle BDC is nothing, I can say it is nothing but area of triangle BDP, BDP plus area of triangle DPC, plus area of triangle DPC, right? Now, you know that yeah, DPC is equal to DPQ. Both are equal, we have told it already, ki these are two between two same parallel lines. So, I can replace the DPC with DPQ. So, you will be getting area of triangle BDP plus area of triangle DPQ. And what was area of triangle BDC equal to? Half of area of triangle ABC. Now, let see, BDP, BDP means this part plus DPQ, DPQ is this part, so ultimately I have got this triangle, so which triangle it is, BQP, so this is forming area of triangle, BQP is equal to half of area of triangle, ABC, it's a very good question, <coughs> okay, so this is how it can be proved, understood, so just try to focus what you are getting, main part was D is the midpoint and then you have to think that okay D is the midpoint so I, I have ultimately D is midpoint means they are giving me a relation, this triangle, this triangle is half of the whole but you want to get this triangle is half of the whole, then you have to think oh this part will be equal to this part, so that analyzation is very important and this analyze you will only be, only be getting when you will be drawing the diagram and you will think carefully, okay, Chalo, let's move to the next part. The next question we have is this, the area of a triangle ABC is 15 centimeter square, okay, uh, where it is, huh. is 15 centimeter square area of a triangle. If triangle ABC and the parallelogram APBD are on the same base and between the same parallel lines, then what is the area of parallelogram AP, ABPD? Arre bhai, yeah, if they are on the same base and between the same parallel lines, so area of the parallelogram will be double of the triangle, so 15 into 2 which means 30 centimeter square, right, very easy. Chalo, let's move to the next question. The medians BE and CF of a triangle ABC intersect at G. Okay, Prove that area of triangle GBC is equal to area of quadrilateral AFGE. So first thing what, bacho? first thing is draw the diagram, right? I have always told you. So what we'll do? Okay, so there is a triangle. Here is my triangle. Triangle AB. C. Now, B, E and C, F are intersecting at G and they are medians. Okay. So, if they are medians, medians plays a very important role, but remember this thing because they divides it into the half area. So, area relation we are getting from the median part. Okay. So, you have to prove that this area of triangle G, B, C, okay, this area is equal to area of triangle A, F, G, E. Okay. These two areas you need to prove equal. Now, I can clearly see it what to be done. What you will do? See, I know one thing. Utilize that information. B, E and C, F are medians. But yeah, if B, B, this C, F is median, if this C, F is median, I can say area of triangle B, F, C. Area of triangle B, F, C will be equal to half of area of triangle A, B, C. Right? Why? Because C, F is median. Correct. Similarly, if BE is median, I can say area of triangle ABE, area of triangle ABE is equal to half of area of triangle ABC. Why? Because BE is median now. So from here, you got to know one thing, ki, but sir, this is also equal to area of half of area of triangle ABC. This is also equal to half of area of triangle ABC. That means 
area of triangle BFC <coughs> is equal to <coughs> area of triangle <coughs> AB. BFC, the area of BF, look at here F carefully, BFC and ABE. Okay, now you will see to get to the given form, the only thing is, ki sir, I can get this triangle, but BFC is BFG is extra in area of triangle BFC. See, from area of triangle BFC, if you remove this extra part, this extra part which I am showing by the dot, this part, if I remove from BFC, what I will be getting? BGC. And from ABE, if I remove this extra part, I will be getting AFGE. So what I have to do now? Subtract from both the sides of the equation. I can subtract anything from both the sides of the equation. So subtract from both the sides area of triangle BFG from both the sides. Subtract from both the sides area of triangle BFG. So you will be left with from BFC. If you remove this BFG, you will be getting area of triangle BGC is equal to area of triangle AFGE, uh, so not triangle, area of quadrilateral, area of AFGE, which was the requirement, which was the requirement, okay, bacho? so as you can see, the questions are quite easy, it's a very easy topic, very easy topic, don't be get, don't get too afraid of this topic, it's a very easy topic, try to solve more and more questions, okay, the only thing is three important things you have to remember, one is, Median divides a triangle into two equal parts. That is the most important theorem. It is used in many of the questions. Second part is between two same parallel lines and a same base, the areas of all the parallelograms will be equal. Similarly, between two parallel lines and on the same base, area of all the triangles will be equal. And between two same between two parallel lines and having a same base, area of the parallelogram will be double of area of the triangle or area of the triangle will be half of the area of the parallelogram. So these two things are very important. If these three, four theorems, if you remember properly, any question you can tackle. Okay, bacho? Chalo, let's move to the next part. So this is your homework question. Area of triangle ABC is 24 centimeters square. F, E and D are the midpoints of side AB, AC and BC respectively. Find the area of triangle EFD. EFD area you have to find out. Okay? Chalo. So now this is your homework question, bacho. So do download Vedantu's app. As I have been telling you, download it. It's a very useful app for you all. Why? Because see, first, free doubt solving facility. Second thing you are getting, give me live class by top teachers, the schedule, everything you are getting, you can attend through that. Third thing is free study material. Like, no one have to go anywhere, free study material, practice test, everything is available there. So do download this app. Also, you will get now the free sessions, uh, PDF of the sessions which you have already attended. And the next thing is do join the Telegram group because many of the students have already joined it and they are having their discussions on that platform as well. So you can also discuss with the other students and you can get to know where you are standing right now. Okay, bacho? And also the most important thing is like share and subscribe to this video let me see how many likes i can get for this video also press the bell icon it is very important so that you will get to know what are the upcoming videos you will get the notification for all the upcoming videos your favorite teachers everyone's fav uh, everyone's video you will be getting a notification over that part also you can reach out to me at gopal.paliwalatvedantu.com and any doubts you are having there i can reach out to there okay so bachon, this is all in today's class i'll see you soon in the next session Till then, bye-bye, good night, I'll see you. Chalo, bye-bye.